Hey everyone, it's Ivan, Kibadger.com here on Throwback Thursday, another episode of the Float Tape Series. Picking up where we left off, we have just left Perth, Australia, made our way over to Sydney, of course, coming into port. Have to man the rails before we get cut loose on the ship right here. Sydney. I'm gonna get out of this fucking Hey, uh, we pulled into Perth about 12, 13 days ago. And uh, before I got off the ship, I signed my re-enlistment papers and they said, hey, when would you like to re-enlist? I said, after man in the rails here in Sydney, we'll all be in our uniform. My platoon will all be in a fucking uh, nice uniform. And it's only a 10 minute ceremony anyway. So 12 to 15 days of planning has led to uh, zero. Thank you, gentlemen. My good buddy, Sergeant Spera, proving once again the Marine Corps doesn't care about any plans you make, even ones that you make with them. So, time to go get changed, no longer doing your reenlistment ceremony the way you would like. But before we get cut loose, it's time to go get a safety brief by Gunny Terry. Now I'm just gonna be some dumbasses again. Go ahead and be the dumbass. I'm telling you, you don't know me by now, I ain't changed shit. Come back across that goddamn brow lake. I'll punch you dead in your mouth. Last time, I'll real low on I'll punch you dead in your fucking mouth. And goddamn, the NCOs was the one fucking up last time, not the goddamn last corporal. You told to be back at a certain time, bring your punk ass here. Cause you setting the goddamn policy for every fucking body else. You know it's 2300, come back at least 15 minutes prior. Nothing changes. I don't give a fuck what you been drinking. I really don't give a fuck. All I'm gonna do is tell me to retire and get paid at the highest rank. So you bring your punk ass across that goddamn brown lake. Come across there, try me. I'm not playing with it. I'm grown fucking men. Be here when you're told to be here. Don't come trot down through that damn fucking lake. They trying to hear it. Good damn limbo point. I've been here before. You'll enjoy yourself. Get out there, have a good goddamn time. Use good goddamn common sense. The buddy system in full effect. Now, for some of you that stand out in town, this will be the last time I see you until we get back to the States. So for the rest of your crews, I hope you enjoy yourself. You know what you gotta be done. And hey, what else do I have to say? I see you when you get back there. Suppose we had a power party somewhere this afternoon. We'll say our goodbyes. I take off uh, Sunday morning sometime, I get back. Then on March 6th, I'm gone for good. Y'all don't have to worry about me smacking the shit out of you. That right one. All right, everybody else know what got going. Wait, wait, I'm too got promoted and I really listen. Come on up. Hurry up! Hurry up! 
Congratulations, Turd. Congratulations. Finally off ship to go represent America. Kill devils. War bag. That's a sign of a boot. Oh, it's Pat. That's a sign of a motivator. It's not a fucking grunt. With any self respecting grunt, we'll never carry an ounce back on the boat. I don't know what's worse. Is it with the war bag? I have nothing but good things to say about Gunning Terry. Awesome guy and pretty much exactly what you would look for in a gunny. Firm and fair. Arguably more than firm at times, but he was fair. And he had high expectations held us to him. So later that night, ended up going for a paddle ceremony. Hey, you know, we go all the way. <laughs> Last year when they said uh, I had to fire a buck, I don't know why, but uh, I'm about to put us in jail. <laughs> They said, hey, Gunny, you get this smart ass guy. I said, oh, yeah. Come here, I said, I don't give a fuck. So I said, then, uh, and then well, what, first, third, third, whatever the fuck you want to call you, fucking second, third. Smart show up late to me. Gunny gets done. Say, I'm going to give you the shit first. I said, all right. What up? What up? I get I'll Raffoon. I'll be an hour. Right off the bat. Raffoon jumped. I tell him to do something. I'm like, oh, Gunny, I got it. OK? Somebody come up to Raffoon and say, Raffoon, we need a no. Kiss my ass, whatever. <laughs> I said, man, I thought they were fucking me up. They hooked me the fuck up. Yeah, I did. So, a third, thank you. <laughs> now, with Raffoon, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you, Raffoon and me goes way, well, we're going to do some shit. And Raffoon <laughs> did so many times. I'm being cats. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Get up. I, you know, Red Food was driving, right? I said over the passenger seat. So I just shut up. Why would you say that? Everybody else is on the damn track. We hauling ass. And I know everybody that was there remember that night. We hauling ass. I said, hey, Red Food, keep up with us. No problem, Gunny, I got it. So, you know, I said, all right, he got it. <laughs> I wake up, another track. Right in front of us, right? We still hollering that. We like bouncing. I said, what the fuck are we bouncing for? And I'm looking at that when he got us there. He holding his night vision got Gunny, it's cloudy, but I can't see shit. Right? <laughs> and you know, you know how I you just wake up. So I just woke the fuck up. I'm looking. Damn, we holding that. <laughs> I look up down, so I said, let me look through my shit. I'm looking. Wait a minute. I look over to the right. I see the damn road over there. <laughs> Now we on the road. Come to find out, we was riding on behind a damn track that wasn't even worth it with engineers. We be hauling ass. <laughs> <laughs> and that was one thing. And Red Bull was so cool. He's so cool. Because we were coming back, what was it, Case Springs? And I, everybody know me. I'm sitting up in the Humvee. I said, hey, Red Bull, you good to go? I look up, Gunny, you good to go? He won't say, Gunny, you sleep. You good to go? I said, I'm good, Gunny. I go, okay. <laughs> then I wake up again. You all right, dog? <laughs> he on the other side of the damn road going down fast line. <laughs> I said, you all right, dog? I'm good, Gunny. I'm like, hey, fuck it. <laughs> I'm like, hey, fuck it. We die. I ain't gonna know if I come to sleep. <laughs> Wait, my ref on you. been like a son, Jimmy, like a brother. I appreciate everything. Hey, third two hook me up. Hey, I don't, I don't even know what to say. I hate to see you go. If you never need anything from me, you got it, all right? I hear that. All right. Hey, you know about what they say? You ain't an asshole. English for someone.
tell you, when I first came to the company, I know we're going to get hooked up with our own boots. All I did was say, hey, Kenny, I need my gear down here. That's all I need to say. What do you say? Good. It's better to be a smart ass than to be a dumb ass. <laughs> Job. Even though Gunny's a small man, <laughs> he ain't, ain't got nothing on me. I've always been afraid that one day he's going to beat my ass. <laughs> That's the only reason I'm any good at what I do. <laughs> uh, you know, I'll remember every one of you. I had to fucking sort your mail and everything so I learned our names. <laughs> you know, uh, and socials. <laughs> But uh, I tell you, there's been some uh, experiences. I won't tell you it's been fun, but there's been some experiences. <laughs> Thank you all, Bravo. Uh, happy to have it. I think I might just keep this black because uh, as ghetto as we are, it fits us. <laughs> Like, you know, it's 
remarkable thing happened. He was driving home, he was trying to get a palm tree, and he got an accident on the freeway guy. <laughs>
don't even care. You <laughs> <laughs> man, I swear to God, he tried to kick down our boots, but he couldn't because we had our shit fortified. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and you know, he snapped, he did snatch his ass on Gal home. <laughs> hey boy, shut up. I ain't <laughs> 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 He went over to the next who was his pop wine station. Started kicking that motherfucking ass out. Oh, he about to kill his motherfucker. <laughs> so we had that's okay. We got a hood cop trying to calm him down and all that shit. But it didn't help. But I'll tell you what, Gunny Terry is a unique individual. I'll probably never meet another girl shirt like he is it. You know what I'm saying? But um I ain't gonna miss him. <laughs> Say that right now. I'm a, I learned from him big time. I mean, him got an argument a couple of days ago. And this is the first time Granny Terry pissed me off so bad to I hit the wall lock and I want to fight that motherfucker. Uh -oh. I want to fight out the lost. What am I doing, man? <laughs> family is, this is family. I mean, my heart right now, I don't, my words are out there. I can't hey, look at something we got. Yeah, look at that, bro. <laughs> 18, 19 years, I cannot say enough for this. And I know, hey, many times y'all done put me in the war. <laughs> <laughs> the only reason, the only reason, sirs, the only reason I stayed afloat was because of you. <laughs> I was saying, how can you say lead if you don't set the example? All of you is a part of me. A part of me. No matter where you go, you're a part of me. No matter what I do, you're a part of me. Yes. And I'm going to tell you, I done been a drill field. I done been three one snipers, et cetera, et cetera. I done been to a lot of places. Till I got the boat company, I ain't never been no shit like this. <laughs> He look at me, he slapped shit out and said, gotta get your ass back up there and do what you gotta do. And Lord knows, Lord knows he's gonna let me get away with some shit that I know I've been out there with. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. I, and that's got true. That's got true. I'm not even gonna lie to you, I don't work for a lot of CO. If y'all fools don't know what the good CO you got, you're a goddamn fool. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So I knocked, I think for everything you've done for me, read. I can't say no more. Hey, I don't, y'all think I'm bullshit when I say that. Y'all are family to me, and I don't get no other way. You will always be family. You come through Virginia, I'll let you go. Yeah. <laughs> and since this is my look, since this is my five minutes, I'm going to tell a true story of the Holocaust rage. <laughs> Coxon in that boat had fell Coxon's course. <laughs> and y'all know about my, my swim call. I'm the WSS Q. Gilkey Dawson, where you at? Hey, you know me? I'm a brother. A black man. <laughs> Every time. Oh, 
hey, every time I went to the water, I like, where my goddamn Scott swim at? Yeah. Getting a goddamn boat. Shake like a rock. And we went to, hey, on the hot house train, the costume driving the boat failed the goddamn course. I looked at them, got us, and you get the goddamn folks. <laughs> but it's been fun, bravo. I love you like family. You will always be family. If you ever need anything from me, let's get it. Let's see got beat them. Huh? <laughs> that right there wraps up this episode of the Float Tape Series. Be sure to join me next time as we continue the journey of that deployment, still making our way back to the States. But as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time. Got you like the kidding me